Lost Abyss has officially hit the shores of Japan as of today and is officially released. And with, uh, with cards being officially released and on the market, it gives us a good idea to find out the top 10 most valuable and expensive Pokemon cards from this set. So that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because every time a new set drops, we do these videos on the day or the day before of release. Don't forget to leave a like and let's just get into the top 10 most expensive and valuable Pokemon cards from Lost Abyss. Quick disclaimer as well before we do get into this, the Pokemon card prices mentioned in today's video are more than likely going to change. So in one month, two months, three month time, you might see quite a large decrease on some of the values of the card. We are just talking about the, the, the value of the cards at the moment. But yeah, that is pretty much going to change. So don't be shocked when you uh, when you pull a card maybe in two months time or a month's time or even a week's time and uh, you see that it's valued less than what it is in this video. Please use this video as a reference to find in if you've got one of the top most expensive cards from the set. And of course, if PSA or any other grading company grades one of these in a 10, it's bound to be worth more as well. So there is that to take into consideration. Okay, let's go with the top 10. So starting off at number 10, we have a altar, which surprised me. I didn't think we'd be starting off with an altar at 10. It's a really nice looking altar. We are looking at alt art Perserker. That's Galarian Perserker. The evolution of Meowth uh, in the Galar region. You know, we're getting to the end of uh, the Sword and Shield era now. So it's nice that I think this is one of the best Galar Pokemon, or if not the best Galar Pokemon to, to, to come out. And it's, uh, yeah, it's such a cool artwork. It's so clean. It's, it's really a card that I would love to have in my collection. I think it's uh, stunning, uh, beautiful. The green just pops with the greys and the blacks and the browns and yeah, big shout out to the artist on this one. They've done a, a, an amazing job. Yep, so uh, Galarian Alt Art Perserker is currently around $25. Number nine is another alternate of art. We are talking about the Alt Art Rotom, which is a, a fairly stunning piece of art, if I uh, do say so myself. Really, uh, I'm quite a big fan of this Alt Art as well. I definitely prefer the Perserker, but the, the Rotom is a, a pretty cool alt art. You know, I, I'm not sure who the artist is who does this. Um, Nishida, it looks like. And, you know, it reminds me of the Espeon VMAX art. Um, or, or is it the Espeon V? I can't remember. But one of, one of the Espeon cards, so maybe Nishida did, did both of those. But quite funky art style. Rotom just going a bit crazy around all the electronics, deciding which one is going to be a fan today. Is it going to be a washing machine? Is it going to be a fan, a microwave, a hoover? Who knows? Anyway, Rotom V currently selling for around $30. Coming in at number eight is our first rainbow card of the set. It is Rainbow Lady. Now in Japan, there's a bit of a, I don't want to say weird, but you know, the ladies in general, not just lady cards, but female cards tend to go for a, a high price. Um, yeah, I don't know. You can look into that all you want. Whether they're playable or not playable cards. Anyway, Rainbow Lady will cost you around $30. Okay, and going on to number seven, which isn't a lady card. It is Rainbow Giratina V-Star. So this is the first V-Star of the, uh, of the top 10 and the first Giratina card. Giratina features heavily throughout this set. I think he's got five cards. I said he. I've gendered. I've gendered him. Giratina has over five cards, I believe. Four or five cards in this set. Lost Abyss is basically focused around Giratina. And the cards are very playable in the, uh, the TCG. So you'll find the nicer looking cards. The rainbows, the golds, the alt arts. All highly expensive. Because if you want to have a high expensive nice looking deck then that's what you've got to pay to get those cards anyway rainbow giratina coming in at 30 dollars number six now and again another giratina card he like i said he features quite heavily in the top 10 he again i've gendered him don't know why i keep doing that it's a pokemon it's not a person it's not even real anyway i digress Number six, Giratina. Uh, full art. It's a nice full art, actually. You know, most full arts are pretty boring. They've just got a pretty colourful background and a huge Pokemon on them. But Giratina's pretty nice. It's got, like, the darkness, you know, uh, focused in the background. I, I think it pops pretty nice. $30 is what you'd be paying for this car. Okay, number five, we have another alternative art. Probably the most popular alternative art um, that, well, that I've seen people talking about 
online which is the altar aerodactyl it is absolutely stunning you've got aerodactyl flying over an ancient landscape with uh, tropiuses bastillions um all kinds of different pokemon of you know he's flying over them my main my my main my brain went completely dead and i forgot all the names of all the other pokemon that he's flying over but it is such a stunning card and uh yeah just 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 so nice to look at and it's not expensive either in my opinion it's a 35 dollar card that price will probably go down in a few weeks so if you do want to pick it up for your collection wait a couple of weeks and go and purchase it anyway 35 dollars for the alt aerodactyl number four now we have our first gold card of the set this is gold lost sweeper this is one that i was a bit unsure about putting in the top 10 because i wasn't sure if um if this was legit you know there was only a few cards on the market at the moment and they were all priced pretty high and one of them was around 40 dollars i have a feeling that this card might be like a 10 dollar card and probably not even in the top 10 in the next couple of weeks but because the data is so new and the card set has only been out you know a day not even you know by the time this video goes live I, I kind of feel like it's just people pricing this card high unless it's super playable and it's going to be used in every deck in uh in you know in the tcg you let me know in the comment section below what you think about that but gold sweeper is currently selling on ebay for around 40 dollars okay number three this is where the prices just shoot up and if you get one of these last three cards you are making some crazy crazy profit and number three is the gold giratina v star we've already seen the rainbow the rainbow obviously was selling for around 30 dollars however the gold is around 90 dollars so you know a huge huge increase a 200 percent increase on the gold version and again it's exactly the same card the only difference is it looks nicer it's gold and yeah the prices go up on the gold cards because they're super playable and they look nice in people's decks so gold giratina v star selling for 90 dollars Okay, number two confused me, and this is what I was talking about a little bit ago. I was talking about how, uh, you know, female cards in Japan tend to sell for quite a high amount. The full art lady version, not the rainbow, but just the regular version, is currently on eBay for over $130. There's quite a lot of listings, and yeah, a lot of them are super, super high. Some as high as $150. Uh, the lowest I found was $130. That price will drop, of course, but I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the price of this card. So yeah, not much to say about it other than it's a female, it's a full art, and uh, yeah, Japan, you're just crazy for uh, for pricing this card so high. $130, making it the second most expensive card in this set. And here we are at number one, the most expensive card in this set. It's an absolutely stunning alternative art. It is the alternative art, Giratina. There's just so much going on. On this you know on this card Kaneda is making a, a you know a huge name for himself in in, in pokemon and uh, his art style is absolutely stunning i love this card i have no idea what's going on is it giratina going through another dimension what the hell is going on i have no idea it's just very nice and shiny and beautiful and i want it in my collection but to get it in my collection i'd have to pay 150 dollars most expensive card in the set alt art giratina v so if you pull that card pat yourselves on the back because you've done it you've you completed the set mate you've done absolutely amazing anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video that is the top 10 most expensive cards from lost abyss the english card set lost origin will be coming out soon you'll find some of these cards in there as well as other cards that we've not yet had from the japanese sets i'll be doing a video on that so make sure you are subscribed to see that and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't, oh, and also, if you want to see more of these videos, click some of these videos that have just popped up now. Thank you very much. See you guys. Peace.